Hi, William Stewart. I uh, just want to give you an update regarding the uh, NANS meeting here in Las Vegas. It's been a great meeting. It's the 15th annual meeting, and uh, I've just come back attending some outstanding lectures. Um, I was fortunate to hear a lecture by a, a, a Dr. Linda Page uh, from Medtronic who discussed uh, granuloma formations in relationships to uh, morphine infusions and uh, discussing whether continuous infusions versus bolus infusions. She had a really neat study using Infimorph, 25 milligram per ml, and they were giving one bolus dose per day to two, four, six, and eight, and over a span of 24 hours. And they did a study with uh, dogs uh, administering 12 milligrams a day of morphine sulfate and examine them after 28 days infusion. They found 100% granuloma formation. And so the study was examining whether continuous versus bolus had an advantage to prevent or inhibit granuloma formation. Their studies are indicating that bolus infusions rather than continuous could be um, a beneficial factor for treating their patients to prevent granuloma formations with patients being treated with morphine sulfate. I have heard other clinicians discuss bolus infusions versus continuous infusions and have had a better clinical outcome. It's an interesting new discovery for drug infusion. Um, my world has always been continuous infusion, but we're starting to see some new information that is probably a new paradigm for drug infusion to prevent or inhibit or reduce granuloma formation. Um, the study was interesting was they used the dogs um, and that they found granuloma or they found basically uh, inflammation within the dura, which could be a precursor to granuloma formation. 12 milligrams a day, she did conclude, was a very high, high dose. Um, in hindsight, they're going to now want to start taking a look at lower doses. So they've, they've proven granuloma formations in high doses, but let's now take a look at maybe realistic doses or something even smaller in the area of microdosing. One of the uh, presenters or one of the uh, physicians also there presented the question about clonidine having an inhibitory effect. She also agreed that there's more work to be done. Uh, it was a great lecture, great talk. Um, Dr. Vizi from the Cleveland Clinic gave a great presentation of bolus versus patient-controlled uh, management of their pain using the PTM pump. Uh, good, dis good discussion on bolus treatment as well versus continuous infusion. He found a lot of uh, uh, clinical effects with the patient-controlled analgesia. Um, one of his high, uh, big points was is at least discussing catheter location, which all of us would agree is that's also a major factor for the treatment of pain. Again, you know what, this is William Stewart from the NANS meeting. I do appreciate this time. William Stewart again, uh, giving you a report from the NANS meeting uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 15th annual NANS meeting. Uh, it's been another exciting day for us. Just had another uh, nice discussion with an existing client out of the Washington area and described uh, a particular difficult patient, uh, fell from a third story, um, injured himself significantly, and he's paralyzed and uh, has had a lot of difficulties uh, that he had to overcome. And in particular, this doctor expressed um, that the pump had changed his life. And specifically, the baclofen therapy was something that just turned around a lot of his conditions and gave him the ability to become more self-reliant and more ambulatory, not so much ambulatory, but more and the ability to get out on his own, be more dependent on himself, independent on himself, and, uh, and do things that he had not done in five years. And the doctor expressed a lot of satisfaction at his, his um, uh, rehabilitation and new life that he has and specifically due to the intrathecal pump and I think it was just a, it's a warming thing for us to hear a clinical outcome of this situation. She expressed a lot of interest in our company and was very happy with our services. They recently had just become new clients and they, her joy or at least her, uh, her really enthusiasm, she appreciates the kind of service that she gets from Hartley Medical and, and I was honored to hear that uh, personally from her. Yeah. Another great day at the NANS meeting. Take care.